Aquarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading for you. Whenever you're drawn to the videos, when it's for you. No particular subject will take a, an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 11th house, this could be for you. Uh, once again, thank you for the continued support. The easiest way is via like, share, subscribe, comments, does wonders for the growth. Thank you to all the Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, the extendeds, the buy me a coffees, the donations, everything really helps me out. So thank you very much indeed. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. And all the information you need is in the description box below. Okay, so Aquarius, what's going on with you guys? Let's do... Three more. We have the Five of Swords. Okay, discussions and persuasion. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of seeing this as protecting your energy i'm seeing it in the sacred geometry uh card number 44 uh, so you might be seeing 44 a lot uh, let's see something we're aware of something we're not aware of recent past advice And potential outcome. Okay. Okay. King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Fool, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Temperance, Seven of Cups. Okay, there could be something that I hope this isn't for many. Um, but for who? Okay, I almost feel like somebody's wronged you here, and there may be. It could be something from the past. This could be work related um, or it could be just somebody that you've dealt with uh, in partnership of some kind. Um, I'm literally seeing the pentagram a lot here. And then there's something kind of not pleasant. Okay, so we've got the Five of Swords, very much focused on, obviously, the pentagon. Uh, but also like the upside down pentagram here, or at least you can look at the pentagram there, or the star. Um, somebody's getting their karma in the sense of, um, potentially they've tried some sort of uh, black magic or some sort of darkness doesn't necessarily have to be that they are practicing and they're doing this, you know, it could be evil eye to a certain extent. Um, you know, everything uh, carries power, um, thoughts, um, uh, emotions, feelings, they all carry power. So if anybody's got negative ill feelings towards you, then um, that energy does does come up, does, um, does kind of, it can generate an energy. But somebody's trying to um, maybe defeat you in some way. The Five of Swords is a card of defeat. What we're aware of is the Six of Cups. So this could be something from the past. It's a card of nostalgia. And in this deck, it's also a cleansing. I, I kind of feel like the universe is going through some sort of cleanse here. I'm very much seeing the Wheel of Fortune in the... Um, just the picture here it just feels like the Wheel of Fortune. So I will be searching for the Wheel of Fortune in a second. What we're not aware of is the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is with the King of Wands here. 
so this could have been a, a, a couple together, a power couple to a certain degree, maybe even a married uh, couple, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands do tend to be a married couple. It doesn't have to be. This kind of could be just work related. Recent past, we have the Three of Pentacles. And hence hence why, you know, it kind of looks like they're around a table performing something here. And in this deck, it's apprenticeship, but also craft. So this could be, for some of some people, it could be um, someone dabbling with black magic and not being for the best interests of people. And I kind of feel like there's going to be some sort of repercussion for that because the advice is judgment. There is going to be a breakthrough and insight to whatever this is. Uh, and then the outcome is the death card, which is an ending and transformation. But for me, judge, judgment and death is uh, end of a reputation. This could be a damaged reputation. So if you've been defeated in some way with this five of swords, maybe your reputation got taken a hit for, for whatever reason. I almost feel like there is something that's coming back round again. So, for example, if you were blamed for something with the Three of Pentacles, this could be something work-related. Like I say, if you were blamed for something, got the um, uh, short end of a stick for something, and your reputation was damaged because of it, something's going to happen. Something's coming back round to change that. So let's see where the Wheel of Fortune is. And it's coming up quickly because we have got the Nine of Wands, Temperance and the Seven of Cups. Nine of Wands is the moon in Sagittarius, which is happening in like 10 days. Um, and then we've got Seven of Cups, which is Venus in Scorpio, which it currently is in. And I assume it's still there for this moon. Venus in Scorpio... the 5th of December so yeah it's still gonna be in there so there could be something happening within that time frame from that full uh, from the new moon in Sagittarius on the 23rd to the 5th of December um, there could be something that's coming back around here the wheel of fortune is with the four of cups and the four of pentacles yeah um, <laughs> this is definitely somebody's because in this deck four of pentacles is status this is somebody's reputation um, someone got rejected for something here, um, possibly, like I say, the reputation aspect has has changed, um, but something is coming back round. Somebody's having some sort of realisation here. Um, and I kind of feel like karma is taking place. Let's see where the karma cards are. Well, obviously, the wheel being one of them. <laughs> um, next one is the world, as well as justice. Justice is with the King of Cups and the Hermit. Okay. King of Cups can indicate somebody that's, um, in its negative aspect, is somebody that's emotionally manipulative. So it could be something that's happening in the background here. Where's the world? What's Saturn have to say? And the world is with the Seven of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Change, disruption, uh, in part of competition of some kind. Okay, there is some sort of um, major changes that are taking place here. Um Somebody's karma is catching up with them. Um, if someone's done you wrong, given your evil eye, that energy is being returned. Um, like I said, I hope this isn't for many people, because I, I wouldn't like to think that you've gone through this. Um, if you have, 
something's going to come around here where you're going to it's like the truth is coming to the surface judgment and death both very strong energies of, uh, of scorpio but also pluto pluto unearths uh, after retrograde season um, because it's slow moving it's not an immediate thing so like everything that's um brought to the surface during the, the retrograde um doesn't tend to really flow into it until it goes direct but because it's so slow we're in shadow periods uh it does take a while but i kind of feel like whatever it is it's coming to the surface here ace of swords which is the truth is with the knight of pentacles and the five of cups this is linked to some sort of um um possibly work related with the knight of pentacles here but what it's going to do is going to change a dynamic here where you've it's going to give you some sort of um foresight to what to do next in in regards regards to planning whatever you plan in your life so there is some sort of cleansing coming in do um do prepare for your uh, reputation to be how do we say reinstated re um not necessarily this could be just their reputation that's getting damaged now um but it's because of some sort of negative aspect for you if they have tried to perform black magic they it's getting returned um yeah interesting as well with all that pluto energy and i'm looking at the queen of wands here and seeing um uh, the goddess kali ma who you know destroys and rebuilds um, so somebody's reputation is going to take a hit here, um, whilst yours is lifted back up to its uh, rightful place. Okay, guys, like I say, hopefully not for many, um, but we'll see. In your extended, we'll look at this deeper. We'll, we'll take um, past, present, future of this, what the positive things are going to come from this, the negative things to watch out for, as well as your advised next steps, and we'll see from there. Okay? So... Sun in Scorpio, strong Scorpio energy, Libra energy. Um, is that Mercury in Capricorn? Saturn, possibly. Gemini, Aquarius, Moon in Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Venus in Scorpio, Jupiter in um, Leo, Capricorn, Jupiter in Pisces. Mercury in Sagittarius, swords, pentacles, wands, cups, everyone's here. Those are the standouts. Okay, let me know if it resonates. If you can join me in the extended, fantastic. If not, take care. See you soon. Bye.